This video is about the Cauchy integral formula. Now Cauchy integral formula is also derived from the Cauchy integral theorem but this formula is really important in solving integral questions. So let's understand what is Cauchy integral formula. Now if you have watched the previous video in which I solved a question in Cauchy's theorem then this video is simply a piece of cake for you. You will understand it very fast. If not then go watch that video and then watch this video to get better understanding of Cauchy integral formula. So Cauchy integral formula tells us that if fz is analytic within and on a closed curve C and A is any point within C then f of A f of A is equal to 1 over 2 pi i integration fz by z minus a dz. Now this is what Cauchy integral formula tells us. This helps us to find this thing. If we take this thing here and take this there then we get this that is integration of fz by z minus a dz and here if z equal to a this becomes non-analytic that's why this helps us this formula helps us to find this is equal to 2 pi i into f of a so this is a little familiar to you if you have watched that video also from this formula this one we can derive another thing also which is this so let's derive that now differentiate that given formula with respect to a this one we get this that is f dash a is equal to 1 upon 2 pi i integration minus fz upon z minus a square this is differentiation for example like this 1 over x differentiate with respect to x we get x ratio minus 1 minus 1 comes here and minus 1 minus 1 is minus 2 and it goes down so x square so this is something like that so we did that and got minus 1 upon z minus a square also according to chain rule we have to differentiate this with respect to a also we get a minus 1 here and these minus cancels each other and we get this now we differentiate again we get this double derivative of a then we get a 2 in here which will go out and then come up with the minus sign but that minus sign will be compensating with this and we get a cube in here and you will think why I not deleted these two this is because this can be written as a factorial of 2 now if we differentiate 3 times we will get this and now we will generalize this so that if we differentiate n times we will get f and a is equal to n factorial by 2 pi i integration of fz by z minus a raised to the power n plus 1 dz now this can be written as like this if we take this in here will be equal to 2 pi i over n factorial f and a also sometimes and also my teacher taught me this formula in this way so in which there is n in here and we decrease this n by n because here is n and it is n plus 1 so if there is n then this is n minus 1 so this is what I learned in class so sometimes I will write this one because I am quite comfortable with this one not these two I usually use this one now uh, you can see that this helps us to solve integrals which have a pole of order and you have understood what are poles in singularity of functions so if there is a singularity in a function then this integral formula helps us to solve that so how it made our integration easy see this integration if we want to solve example fx over x minus a raised to the power n type of integration then it's quite difficult but if we convert this x to z and do our conversions accordingly and solve it we just have to take the derivative with respect to a and multiply it by this factor and here is our answer so that's why this makes integration really easy so this was the Cauchy integral formula now in the next video we will do the proof for Cauchy integral formula so thanks for watching this video and always remember that math is everything